installment in our Spotlight video series. Now for this video, we're going to take a closer look at two items in our collection that are on display in the library, and they're next to me here in our bookcase. And they are um, souvenirs from Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee. And this was a celebration of her 50th anniversary on the throne. They are uh, made out of pressed glass, a small oval dish, and a small pitcher. Now, her Golden Jubilee was a celebration of her 50th anniversary on the throne. And this was a multi-day celebration that included a big formal dinner at Buckingham Palace that included guests that were uh, royals from across Europe. It also included um, dignitaries from many of the countries that um, comprise the British Empire. Um, guests from all over the world at this time, the, um, the extent of the British Empire really extended throughout the world consisting of countries on all the, all the continents. Um, it also consisted of um, a very large um, parade, a procession that wove its way throughout um, London. And so this was a big event that allowed um, um, just everyday citizens or everyday subjects to be part of this big national celebration. Um, another way that um, everyday people were able to participate in this event was by buying souvenirs. There were lots of things that were made that were at low price points that were made possible through improvements in manufacturing. Goods, these consumer goods, could be made um, relatively cheaply and relatively quick that um, almost everybody could afford. Things like commemorative teacups and saucers, um, it, um, things like commemorative um, coins, commemorative medallions, um, even little uh, needle cases and um, uh, handkerchiefs that were made that had images of the queen, often in profile, to um, be mementos of this special occasion. Now, the objects in our collection um, contained not images of the queen, but another image associated with the monarch, and that is imagery of the crown itself. You see this both on the dish as well as on the picture, and it also includes the date of the Golden, golden Jubilee, and that is 1887. Now, you might wonder why is this um, very um, English object in the Lippitt House Museum collection? And the answer is we don't know. Um, this is a mystery for us here at, at the museum. Um, we know that many members of the Lippitt family um, did travel abroad. Um, we know that Mary Ann Lippitt and her eldest daughter, Jenny Lippitt, um, traveled to many um, places in Europe in 1882. We also know that the youngest Lippitt daughter, Abby Lippitt, actually traveled with her new husband, Duncan Hunter, um, as part of their honeymoon in February 1893 when they were newlyweds to go visit his parents and I think an opportunity for her to meet her new um, in-laws. Duncan was born in London to Scottish parents, um, but we don't know that any of the Lippitt family was actually in London in 1887 during all these Golden Jubilee um, festivities. So how did this, um, this pair of objects end up in the museum? We don't know. Um, it is possible that another member of the Lippitt family was actually in England in 1887, and we just haven't found the records that document this. It's also possible that a friend of the family had traveled and brought these items back as a gift for the family, and they remained here at Lippitt House all these years later. So it's another mystery that we hope um, over the years through further research and resources that become available that we'll be able to um, hopefully, you know, be able to solve in the future. So thank you for um, exploring this little Lippitt um, mystery with us, and we hope that you'll check out our other videos as well. Thank you.